Right, hello. Um, you have to excuse any awkwardness. Uh, I'm not very good at sort of talking in front of the camera, but it's been quite a while since we've done a video, and I thought I'd just post an update and explain why there's sort of been a bit of a gap and um, the progression of the mini so far. And since when you last saw it, I think the last time you saw it was um, it was it's been delivered to the paint shop, um, and yeah, we just delivered to the paint shop, and I think I think that was it. And basically got the mini back it was done in how long it was it took about four to five no it's like yeah three to four months to get completely done there's been a few changes um the car is in front of me i'll spin the camera around in a second um yeah there's been a few changes basically uh there's been a color change i think i, I might i can't remember i think i originally said i was going to get it done red which is the color it was um a few changes since then i've actually changed it to a blue it's a Porsche Riviera Blue, I'll show you that now. And it's a bit further down the line than than it was. Um, obviously, I got it back as a shell and I've built it up to, it's currently got the engine in. And the reason why I haven't recorded any of that is because of this lockdown going on. Uh, it's just been a pain in the ass to hold stuff and record it at the same time. And it was just slowing me down in the end. And I had a few videos that got um, sort of corrupt files and I just, I couldn't really be bothered with it, so. Um, I'll, I'll flip the video around. So yeah, this is the car. It is the same car. <laughs> and the engine is currently mounted. It's not 100% mounted. I've still got a, a mount at the back down there I need to do. But actually I've got the subframe in, got the shock mounts in, got the shocks in. Just a bit of a walk around the car. As you can see, it's looking pretty, pretty awesome. There she is. As you can see, um, Basically, got the got front sub uh, front subframe was already done because it was on the other car. Uh, built the rear, uh, the back, the subframe, um, put that on. So I've got it, got it rolling, and I've got the engine mounted. That's pretty much as far as much as I've done. But I so said the reason I haven't filmed it is just because it was just been such a pain in the ass. All of this has got to come back out. The engine currently won't run as it is. I need to redo the cam timing. And a few other bits the belt isn't even on so I'll, I'll record myself doing all of that but sort of the main bulk of it i haven't recorded um it was just too much of a too awkward and pain in the ass but yeah so i guess i'll explain what is to come uh actually the front end over there so yeah uh, it's got roof at the front end and it attaches here here and here both sides um and basically what's going to happen in the next few weeks is I've got a guy who's making an exhaust manifold because I, I can't I can't weld and it is extremely <laughs> extremely tight so basically it's hard to show you without the front end being on but um, there's going to have to be a cut out the front end but he's going to do all that I think it's going to go off in about three weeks time for that to be done so my goal is for three weeks two to three weeks time is I need to get all the windscreens in um, I'm now hanging the doors uh, I'll put the rubbers around, put the catch on so I actually open and close the doors. I need to put the column in so you can actually steer it because at the moment I've just got to push the wheels and it's a pain. Um, but yeah, so the engine's going to, I'm going to also hopefully do the engine, get that ready to be done. And then when I get it back from him, I'll take all the engine out. And I think my aim is to get the engine, I'm going to get it running as it is. And then once I know it's running and everything like that, I'll take the engine out, I can spray everything up, I'll order the drive shafts and I can do all like the master cylinder and, and stuff like that. So my aim at the moment is to get it running because I think that's the next hardest part. So yeah, basically, that's why there's been a bit of a break, just been too awkward to do it on my own. I haven't really had anyone able to come here and help me film just because it's just too, you know, COVID and all of that. So you can't really do it. But yeah, I'll just do one last walk around with the car in case you want to. So